Hello everybody, welcome to one of my videos. Today we're playing on the Amiga. As you can see by the screen, we are playing Sensible Soccer, but this is the Amiga Power Special, England vs Germany, Sensible Soccer 92, 93 meets Bulldog Blighty. That's a big title, but I stumbled across it earlier while looking on WHD Load, and I thought, why not? It sounds good, hopefully it is good. This is Jamie Horden's game, Sensible Soccer. Let's go. Okay, we have three different games we can choose from. We have 1944 Winston's Wingless Wonders, 1966 Alpha Mega Powered Army, and 1993 Graham's Giftless Grafters. Okay, for a starting point, to start in 1993, Graham's Giftless Grafters. One player or two player. Okay, to start this video off, we'll try out the 1993 version, which is of course effectively just a demo of Sensible Soccer, the greatest football video game of all time. That means you've experienced the sublime intuitive control, the faster through the gameplay, the immersive sound and the small but perfectly formed graphics. Now this is just a normal game of football. Uh, it's just one goal win situation, that's all it is. But I've got a few ideas for the other versions. But we are England versus Germany. Now this game came from... Uh, Amiga Power, issue 21 from January 1993. I was 10 years old when this came out. Now, I don't know if this has any time. It's just a first to get one goal wins the game. Now, I am white, and I'm playing Germany, who are in green. I just hit the post. I just hit the post. That would have been a good goal. Now, the goalkeepers are controlled by the player, not the, contro uh, the computer. Now this was a game I just found out, literally just trying to find a game to long play. Uh, I had a few ideas in mind of what to long play today, and in the end I didn't play any of them. But I was just browsing through a few things, stumbled across this game, and I thought, that sounds good, that looks good, let's quickly do a long play of that. So I had a little bit of a lazy day. But, hopefully you guys will approve, because you're still getting a long play for more of these games. It's a corner to Germany. I've never been good at scoring from corners, but it does happen from time to time. I've only scored there. Now, because this, uh, this is just a demo, I don't think you have the actual scorers, the scorers' names, just a number above their heads. There we go, I score! Number 9, in 1993, possibly Alan Shearer, I'm not so sure. 1944 Winston's Wingless Wonders Welcome to 1944. To start things off, things look perfectly normal. Two teams take the pitch and line up for the kickoff. As gameplay commences, you realise there's something different about the ball. There is a big difference with the ball. In fact, it's not a ball at all. The ball is actually replaced by a grenade. Now, grenades explode and so does this one. You do get a warning because the grenade will flash. And after a few seconds, it will explode. Anyone caught in the blast will then be killed. They'll be out of the game. There is no recovery from that. And that will result in either a free kick or a penalty, depending on where it happened on the pitch. Now, you could lose two, three, maybe even four players in one explosion. There we go. It exploded. I don't think anyone died there, but the computer got a free kick. Now, as you can see, these are no longer sensible soccer football players, but they are cannon fodder soldiers. So, 22 soldiers start the game. Whether 22 soldiers leave the game is a different matter. Now, because grenades are not 100% round, they've got the bit on the top with the pin. If that hits the ground, it can cause it to change direction because it bobbles, and that makes it very, very difficult for goalies. But a really nice touch to this game. Now, if the ball goes out of play, these players cannot throw the ball. That results in a kick. If the play goes out for a corner, players cannot head of the ball. So it makes it very, very, very difficult to score from a corner, even though I'm not thinking of that anyway. But this game is fantastic. Again, it's one goal that wins it. It's a shame it wasn't more. But I can imagine this would be a very, very good game to play as a multiplayer. Now, I've got a free kick. See that bobble change direction? It's really, really difficult for the goalies. You can actually concede into really comical ways and score into real comic ways. But your goalie can also get blown up. You can actually finish the game with no goalie. I've seen that many, many times. So there's no yellow cars, no red cars, and definitely no offside rule here. 
But getting killed in a football game is definitely a new feature. But anyone that doesn't like football, they probably would appear would approve of that. There we go. One of my players has died. I'm down to I don't know what men now. It's definitely not eleven men. Possibly nine. You could probably lose all your players if you're really, really unlucky. Nothing would surprise me. But anyway, one goal is all we need. There we go. Now they've lost one. But they get a free kick. But if it happens in the penalty box, that would have resulted in a penalty. Even though I wouldn't have known a lot about it. Now because this is a one goal, there's actually no time limit. So it just continues until that first goal is scored. This is actually going on for quite some time, but you can actually put spin, even though it is a grenade. But that bobble really does change things. Your players can slide tackle. Wah! There we go, another death for the computer. I got a free kick. Which hit the post, and then it was an own goal. There we go, I'll take that. He didn't know a lot about it, but I'll take that. Okay, once again, the exploding bomb is in the centre of the pitch and 22 incredibly brave soldiers are waiting to kick off. So what is going to happen this time? Are 22 players going to finish this game? Maybe. The ball is out already. Now because these players can't throw the ball, they have to use their feet. So you probably could score from a throw-in. Provided it's quite close to the goal. Because it hits that bubble, it could happen. But that's making it very, very difficult for the goalies. They've definitely got a really diff difficult job ahead. There we go, I'll take that. Scored from outside the box. I don't know what his name is, but there we go, you've won the day. Okay, Alf's Amiga Powered Army. Welcome to 1966. The 1966 version, meanwhile, puts you in the boots of our Nation World Cup winning heroes. It's the same beautiful game, played out in black and white. Now, I've made a few changes, as you can see. But this is England versus Germany, as it was in 1966. Sort of, but it does have a one-goal winning situation. Now, this took place from the 11th to the 30th of July, 1966, where England beat West Germany 4-2, winning the World Cup. They were the fifth nation to win and the third host nation to win after Uruguay in 1930 and Italy in 1934. Now even I am black and white in this one. But this is a one goal winning situation. We have no exploding footballs. Now I wasn't aware of this Amiga Power demo disc but it's a really such a shame that they included just the one goal. It would have been so much better if they had more than just one goal. But there we go. Still a nice addition. Now, I'm a big fan of Central Soccer. I'm not a brilliant, brilliant player of it, but it's a great game nonetheless. That was very nearly a goal conceded. One goal will win this game. That did not happen in the real deal in 1966. That is for absolute certainty. Now, you can add curl to the ball, which is what i just done there. There we go. That is a goal by number nine. For England versus Germany. And unfortunately, that is the end of that game. So that was a win for Jamie. And Morgan we'll games 1-0 to Germany. Not quite the 4-2, which happened in 1966. Okay, here we are again. Let's give it another try. Once again. Because that was over so quickly, let's have another try. England versus Germany, 1966. Morgan we'll game style. Now, this one doesn't have any time limits, unfortunately. No offside rule, but no exploding football. But players can now head of the ball. And we also get booked. Right, here we go. Now, I have Gordon Banks in goal, so I should be fine. Get the ball, Jamie. It's spending too much time in my half at this early stage. Now, there was also some other versions as well. There was a Sensible Soccer, which was on the moon. And there was also another one, which I found out, which I'll play in a moment. 
Free kick to Germany. That was a good shot, but my goalie was there. Too much curl, Jamie. That went round. Out, out, out to the... Oh. That was nearly another goal. Very nearly a goal there, too. Even my wine is black and white. It's actually rosé. That's three very, very close calls, but no cigar. Even though I don't smoke. Throw in. Now we actually throw the ball. For real this time. I will do some more sensible soccer videos on my channel. That is for absolute certainty. It's such a good game. You cannot go wrong with sensible soccer. Now it's very rare I actually score from a corner, but I very nearly did. But their goalie was up to the challenge. This is actually a, a much longer game. But no goals. But then one goal wins it. That's a powerful header there. By me, surprisingly. Still goalless. Sliding tackle resulted in a, f a kick on goal, which the goalie saved. This is why he's there. There we go! We score again! Even though that is all you have to do to win the game. One goal wins it. Okay, now Sensible Software made so many different Sensible Soccer games, but this is the latest blockbuster, and this is not football, but this is a game that came out in 1995, one of the most random games I've ever played in my life. This is Sensible Train Spotting. And the rules are as you expect. This is Train Spotting, and we must do just that. So the trains go past, some of them have codes that are on your list, and some of them do not. So when you see the code on the side of the train, which is on your list, Tick it off while it's still on the screen. If it is not on the screen and you click on it, you will lose time. Now your time is at the top right and the level, which is card one, at the top left. Now sometimes the trains will appear and the code does not tally up with what is at the bottom of the screen. So you have to wait patiently, wait for the right one, and then well done my sad friend, on to the next card. Okay, so now we have more at the bottom of the screen, as you can see, so the difficulty level has increased. So, once again, we must spot numbers on the sides of the train, but we have more to look for. And more errors, because sometimes it does give you ones that aren't on the list. So, we have three off the list already. We have a B94, which is there. Only to get off if it is on the screen. B64 is there. Uh, A99 is not there. We have A95. D33 is just there. B521 is there. And D89 is there. And 72 is there. All we need now is A95, C37 and B701. We do have 50 seconds remaining. This should be doable. If I don't do this, I am the world's worst train spotter. All we need is C37 and 40 seconds remaining. This is card four. Bingo! Well done, my sad friend. You have a drink. On to the next card. Right, so we have another three lines to find. And I've started off very, very badly indeed. Now, every time you make a mistake, you do actually lose 10 seconds of time. And if you're spotting trains, that is a lot of time. Especially when you only start off with 90 seconds. So at the moment, I've only ticked one off the list. So, A6027, and also, as you progress, the codes get longer, which means you have to test your eyesight. Um, now, I haven't had my eyes tested since about the age of five. I'm 36 years old now. Uh, C4963 is there. C7 is there. And one at the back of gambling was that one. There we go, D5298, I can't see that one. 83, no, it's not there. Good thing I didn't risk it, it would have lost me 10 seconds. A3183 is there, 
and that one at the back is not. Some of these trains are incredibly long trains. 25 seconds to find A2880 and D7902, which is confirmed. All we now need is this one. Boom! Well done, my sad friend. On to the next card. Card 10. I've never got this far. Never, ever got this far. My lord, these are really long now. Uh, uh, that was a bad one. That was a really bad one. Yes. One, four, three. No. Yes. Eight, two. Yes. Oh my lord. Uh, C three. Yes. Boom. Uh, D five. Yes. Three, six, three. Yes. I wonder if ten levels is the last one. Not a good start. Eight, yes. One, one, yes. Six, oh, two. Yes. I didn't realise train spotting can be so... Edge of your seat sort of thing. Uh, nine... No. Come on, baby. I must do this. My channel has got to the point now where I'm on the edge of my seat trying to spot trains and succeeding. I need one more. 15 seconds. Is this the final level? Could it be? 10 seconds. 9 seconds. 8 seconds. Boom! Well done, my sad friend. I think I probably am playing 10 levels of train spotting. It's still going. How many levels are there to this game? These trains are going very, very fast now. Well, that was an abysmal time. Time up, sad man. Go back one card. Okay, everybody. That is the end of my video. That was Sensible Soccer on the Amiga. However, it wasn't this one I was playing, but this is as close as I can get. I was playing the Sensible Soccer 92, 93 Meet Bulldog Blighty, which is an Amiga Power Special. I don't have the box because there wasn't one. It was a special edition on the magazine. But anyway, show me all the games. Please like, please comment, please share, and please subscribe to my channel. I have a Facebook fan page, on Instagram, also on Twitch. So if you more of this game, you should find it fairly easy. And please remember to click on the bell icon that will notify you when the videos upload. It'll be fantastic. We're not doing these sort of videos. I do have a beat making and live streams on Friday night, UK time of 8 o'clock. It's the highlight of my week. Until next time, take it easy. Ciao, bye. See ya. The goalie has just died. <laughs> he had the ball in his hand and he got blown up. Now, those players do not return. No substitutions. So at the moment, I'm playing against a team that has no goalie. So the computer don't have a goalie. That makes it a little bit easier. There's a replay. No goalie. He was killed by an exploding grenade bomb. Intuitive control and fast through gameplay. The immersive sound and small but perfectly timed graphics. <coughs> Kick a grenade. Right. My player died. That was a mean pass. I passed it to my teammate which killed him. You don't hear that every day. That hit, did that hit the post? Or did it bubble in? I'm, or did it hit the post and bubble in? I'm really not sure. That literally just went... Doink. In 1993 version of... Uh, uh, if it is not on the screen, do not press it because that will lay... Okay, this is the 1993 version in... Uh, uh, Means that you get experience of sublime in your initiative control and fast into the gameplay. Get to him. Jamie, you're trying to read it too quickly. That is your problem. You hit the crossbar! My lord! The goals just aren't going in. Yeah! Woo! My lord. Which is, of course, effectively just a demo of Sensible Soccer, the greatest football game video. The greatest video. Vi vi I was going to say the greatest video, I don't know what I was going to say, probably the greatest game video game of all time. Ugh. But, if you spot the train, we're going to try and not spot the train. One of the problems are having one goal. 
I'm trying to talk over it, but trouble is, if the goal goes in too quickly, and I haven't said all the statistics yet, I have to redo it. Yeah. My goalie is dead. Eh? My goalie died, and then they got a penalty. And it was a penalty against no goalie. He couldn't miss. He didn't miss. If he did miss, that would be the worst miss ever. But there we go. Oh, my lord. Some players do not rejoin, but then that's... that's some, 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 bum, 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 bum. What a free kick that was! Unfortunately, it wasn't me. Look at that! What a free kick! That's better than David Beckham. That was a good shot and a good save and an unlucky goal. That was a crazy goal. Oh my lord, like a pinball machine. Oh, that was sensible soccer, but not this sensible soccer. That was actually sensible... sensible. <laughs> Start things off, things look perfectly normal. Two teams take to the field and line up for the kickoff. As play... Even spotting trains, my TV tries to turn itself off. I just killed the goalie. And I've got a penalty. There we go. The simplest goal I've ever scored in my life. Oh my lord, how many died there? Five. I've never seen that before. Uh, yeah. Five players died in a single blast. Including my goalie. Yes. I took a gamble there. I had one second to go. I risked it for a biscuit. 30 seconds to find all that lot. There's not enough trains in that time. There's not enough tracks. 